ሰላም ሰላም የቻናላችን ተከታታዮች እንዴት ናችሁ በዛሬ ቪዲዮ basic concepts of geographic information system እና ያለን እንደሚታወቀው በተሻሻለው የሪሚዲያ ሞጁል ላይ basic concepts of geographic information system በዩኒት 1 ውስጥ ተካቶ መጥቷል ይህ ቪዲዮ ማንኛውም መሰረታዊ የጂኤስ ዕውቀት እንዲኖረው ለሚፈልግ ሰው ተቋም ይመረጃ ይሰጣል የዚህ ቪዲዮ ሙሉ ጽሑፍ በPDF format በTiHub Tube Telegram channel ላይ ታገኙታላችሁ የቴሌግራም ቻናሉ ሊንክ በዲስክሪፕሽን ወይም በመጀመሪያ ኮመንት መስጫ ሳጥን ውስጥ እናስቀምጥላችኋለን ወደ ቪዲዮ እንግባ basic concepts of geographic information systems or GIS what is geographic information system or GIS A geographic information system or GIS is a technology that allows us to collect, store, analyze and manage and present geographical data. GIS is used to understand patterns, relationship and trends in the world around us by mapping and analyzing data tied to locations on the earth's surface. In a simple terms, GIS help us to answer where question like where are the best locations for new shopping mall where is the nearest hospital or school how can we manage natural resource effectively key components of GIS now let's take a closer look at five key components that make up a GIS system First, hardware. These are a physical devices needed to run GIS software, such as computers, GPS devices, and servers. Second, software. Software tools that help users create maps, perform spatial analysis, and manage data. Example, ArcGIS, Quantum GIS, Google Earth. Third, data. GIS relies on two main types of data. Spatial data refer to the location and shapes of features on the Earth's surface, example, roads, building, river. This can be represented as a point, line, or polygon. Attribute data. Information about the features, example, population of a city, temperature, or land use. Force people. People who use GIS include GIS specialists who create and analyze the maps, decision makers who use maps to make informed choices, general public who may use simple GIS tools like Google Maps. Fives methods, the process and the techniques used to collect and analyze data. For example, data collection using GPS or satellite imagery, the analysis to find a pattern or solve a problem such as identifying flood prone areas. How does GIS work? GIS works by integrating spatial data, maps, location with attribute data, information about those location. This data is then visualized through a maps or 3D models. Types of GIS data. GIS data can be categorized into two main types, vector data and raster data. Vector data represents feature with specific locations, shapes, and boundaries. Points represent locations, example school or well. Lines represent line features, example roads and river. Polygons represent areas, example lakes, city boundaries. Raster data made up of 
a grid of cells like pixel in a photo, where each cell contains information about the area it represents. Example, satellite image or aerial photographs. Each pixel in a raster image might represent a specific value such as temperature or elevation. Application of GIS. GIS is used in many fields and industries. Here are a few examples. 1. Urban planning. GIS helps city planners design infrastructure such as road, park, utilities based on the best use of available land. Second, environmental protection. GIS is used to track changes in environment such as deforestation, urban sprawl, or pollution. 3. Natural Disaster Management GIS can help in identify areas prone to natural disaster like earthquake, flood, and hurricanes. It is also aids in emergency response and recovery. 4. Health and Public Safety GIS is used to track disease outbreaks, locate healthcare facilities, and plan for disaster responses. 5. Transportation GIS helps manage transport networks, such as optimizing routes for delivery trucks, planning new roadways, and analyzing traffic patterns. GIS Data Visualization Once a data is collected and processed, it is presented in a visual format to help People understand spatial patterns. The most common way of GIS data is visualizing is through maps, which can be customized to show different features and layers. Types of maps you can create using GIS. One, thematic maps. Show a specific themes or pattern. Example, population density and rainfall. 2. Topographic maps show elevation and natural features. 3. Heat maps show intensity or concentration of features, example area of high crime rates. 4. in everyday life While you may not realize it, GIS is used every day. Google Maps and Apple Maps use GIS to give you directions, traffic updates, and find nearby business. Weather forecasters relied on GIS to display patterns such as temperature, precipitation, and storm passes. Social media apps like Instagram use GIS to tag your location when you post photos. Basic GIS process. The general step to use GIS to answer equations are 1. Data collection. Gather data from source like survey, GPS, satellite images, or public database. Two, data input enter the data into GIS system. Three, analysis, analyze the data to find a pattern or solve a problem. Example, finding area of high pollution. Four, Data output. Present the result in map, report, or other formats. 5. Decision making. Use the result to make decisions and take action. 
ቪዲዮን ስለተመለከቱትና መሰግናለን ቪዲዮን ኮደዱት ላይክ ሼር ሰብስክራይብ ያድርጉ በሌላ ቪዲዮ እስክንገናኝ ባይ ባይ